Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a book review. Uh, the book that I'm going to be reviewing is Sea Above, Sun Below by George Salas. And I, I got this as a review copy from the author himself, and I very much appreciate him reaching out to me to read and review this. Uh, I wrote a review on Goodreads, but this is a video review, uh, as he wished. Uh, it is very hard to explain in a few sentences what this book is about, because it's very reflective of uh, biblical pieces and Western myth. Uh, but uh, some of the stories include uh, Adam and his skydiving team, uh, which includes Charlie, Daniel the Fly, uh, Irene, who ha Daniel the Fly and Irene have feelings for one another, and Reginald, who is the obnoxious and abrasive trainer. Uh, and they, uh, they're engaging in various skydiving-related adventures. Uh, there is Adam and his partner, Evelyn. Uh, Isaac and his hardships at school. Uh, and how he interacts with an older man in his neighborhood. Uh, being with his mother and his father being absent. Uh, there is uh, Peter's journals. Uh, and how... Uh, Peter lost his wife and his unborn daughter in childbirth. Uh, his wife, Liliana, uh, got him into Christianity, and uh, he followed, but with question. Uh, but at the same time, he did lead services and dinners. Uh, there's uh, Adam's upbringing to question, Eve's upbringing to worship, uh, Helen, who was born somewhat incomplete. Uh, Tessa, who's mermaid or an ichthyoid. Uh, and then you have Lars and Tabby, who are caring for their dying father and observing their faith. Uh, all of these characters are supposed to be... Uh, anthropomorphic hybrids. Uh, they're not completely human. They also have different animalistic traits, uh, bird-like, uh, but we don't really get a very fine description as far as that is concerned. Uh, but at the same time, I feel that there is something to admire about the way that Salas writes. Uh, he is good with his use of imagery, his word choices, his incorporation of flashbacks, uh, and the situational choices that he creates. I do think that it would have been beneficial if I came into this having read the Bible in just about its entirety. Uh, that's something I want to accomplish because I want to be able to get a good grasp of probably the most noteworthy and recognizable book in the entire world. Uh, but I also think that a lot of literature alludes to the Bible. A lot of it stems back from it. Uh, but the stories do stand on their own, uh, but they do connect the characters that they're dealing with. Uh, you will find some connections throughout the piece. Uh, but I will say that there is a certain audience for this work. This is not for everyone. Uh, there is a great sense of pretension, but it does what it can to uh, incorporate contemporary uh, aspects. Uh, but my biggest concern is that there are so many stories that... Uh, take place, and they do intersect with one another, but at the same time, not a lot is concluded properly. 
uh, you see a lot more of the stories involving Adam, Evelyn, Isaac, and Peter more so than characters like Helen and Tessa, who I really didn't get a good feel for them. Uh, the argument can be made that if it is reflecting the Bible, there is a lot that's left unfinished or not concluded. Uh, but regardless, I was left dissatisfied. Uh, this book is definitely not for a casual reader that's looking for a light read. But at the same time, I wouldn't say it's dense in the way that uh, it's incredibly complicated. It was easy to understand for its face value, but still complex on the basis of so much going on and not really getting a proper understanding of many of the characters. Uh, but to me, it's, it's kind of like eating a cheese that's proven its merit, but the question is why and how. Uh, if I compared this book to a cheese, it would be Humboldt Fog, which has achieved merit among many, but it's never clicked with me. I saw that there was discussion as to whether or not this book should be taught in schools. And while I feel that George Salas has achieved literary merit, I wouldn't teach this. But that that's me. Uh, I think that ultimately it should be up to the teacher or the instructor to determine what they teach. But uh, if, I, if it was my classroom, regardless of the level, uh, I would not be teaching this. Uh, but ultimately, I gave See Above, Sun Below three stars out of five. It has a certain audience. It's very well written. I was engaged in the stories in their own separate pieces, but the lack of closure and the use of characters in certain situations left me confused. So, I just thought this book was... Ultimately, uh, I just felt this was okay. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you check out some more videos from our channel. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you really like what you see, please support us on our Patreon. For the money that we make will allow us to provide you, the viewer, with even more great content. For now, keep reading.